welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you back. We're off on another uh, regional park Auckland coastline trail hike today. Pretty much along the coast it's going to be, along the beach, so something a little bit different. We're uh, visiting Kawakawa Bay and then from there we're just trekking up over the hill to uh, another beautiful little bay called Waiti Bay. We're here now. And from there we're uh, going to take the low tide track around the rocks and the sand to a secret beach called Tafitokino. Not too many people go here, so uh, we'll go and have a look, eh? Should be good. How good is that? Beautiful. Sun's coming out too, so yeah, the day's looking better and better. Nobody here. It's a Friday afternoon, but um, you'd think out here, we're only sort of 40 minutes from Auckland City, 45 minutes. Just unbelievable. A couple of guys on a couple of far off points back the other way fishing, but apart from that, it's just me. Right, so we're just coming up to the, uh, it's just a set of steps which take you up on a rise. This is the uh, Tofitikino track. Should be able to see the uh, sign behind me, but I'll move my big head out of the way and you should be able to see it. There it is. So we're just going to go up there, go along the uh, track. I think it's about almost a kilometre. Takes us up um, through some bush, over the rise and down onto our secret beach, so it's good. The sun's come out, it's getting a bit hot actually, so looking forward to getting over to the beach, having a bit of a rest, a bit of a drink, something to eat, then we can uh, have a leisurely walk back this afternoon. say at the start, I said it'd be a nice leisurely walk along the beach. Well the main part it is but uh, there is a couple of loads of steps to get up to just on the uh, track here. And it's a Fitikino track but it's uh, nice to get some good views from up the top here too so just walking through the uh, track now, beautiful native bush. Right.
Ooh. Nice cool and bushy here. A few more steps. Don't seem to be able to get away from them, do I? Oh, well, we made it down the steps. We are now in Tofitikino Bay. Tofitikino Beach, one of Auckland's secret beaches. And I've seen one person. Great. So we'll go along the beach, stop, have some lunch. There's actually a campsite along here too, a um, very basic campsite, but you can camp. I think it's about $9 or $9.50 a night. You can look on the Auckland uh, Council website and you'll, you'll find it there. Very basic, um, no amenities. It's just uh, has a, I think it's a uh, long drop composting loo. Big grassy area for tents. It's tent only. You can't drive here. You have to bring your pack all the way along the track where I've just come. So you wouldn't want to bring too much gear, I can tell you, because you've got to walk up these steps to go out again. So yeah, but wow, what a place! What a place to spend a night. So we'll go and have a look.
Look at that scenery, eh? It's just beautiful. For lunch. The only thing you've got to be careful of is uh, if you drive to the Whitey Beach car park and you want to come walk along the beach, do the kilometre to top of the Kino Beach where we are now, the secret beach, which has the campsite. <clears throat> you really want to make sure your car's secure because you know it's in a car park at night, <clears throat> a little bit out of the way. Just got to be careful, wouldn't leave anything valuable on it, make sure it's locked, and uh, you should be fine. Awesome. So thanks for watching. Like doing these videos, so uh, if you can like, that'd be fantastic. If you subscribe, even better. This is number six, I think, and uh, number seven's coming up very shortly, next week or two. That one should be good. It's at a um, reserve. It's going to be a bit of a camp and cook. Another coastal location, but different sort of scenery to where we are now. So uh, that one should be good. So look out for that. And uh, I'll finish my lunch and head back. We'll see you on the next one.